Number 45. Find the resistance that must be placed in series with a 25 ohm galvanometer having a 50 microamp sensitivity uh, to allow it to be used as a voltmeter with a 3000 volt full scale reading. All right, include a circuit diagram. So basically here's the, uh, here's the little circuit, All right? So we'll have a little galvanometer in here, place that like a little G or something. Now, basically this galvanometer inside of this thing, you know, you're going to have a resistance. Okay. But instead of showing that, you know, like this overlaid in the galvanometer, sometimes what they'll do or what we'll do is place it kind of in series with it like that. And then we realize we have another resistance. They tell us so something along these lines, right? So this could be the resistance of the galvanometer. And then this is that unknown resistance. So basically what we realize if we know then the, you know, total current flowing through, they told us it's going to be 50 uh, microamps, you know, we need that in amps. So just do the conversion 50 times 10 to the minus sixth amps. Um, we know that this resistance here is going to be, they told it to us, actually, let me just add in equals to there. The galvanometer resistance is going to be 25 ohms. They want to know this resistance that's going to be placed in series. Right? And we know that the full scale reading will read 30, uh, or excuse me, 3000 volts. So how do I now relate all these variables? Well, sounds like Ohm's law to me, right? Now, the thing is, you know, if I know the total current and I basically know the total voltage, then I have to find the total resistance. Now, the total resistance is basically known as the equivalent resistance. And since these two resistances are connected in series to one another, we're going to simply add them together to, f to find, excuse me, that total resistance. All right. So let's just start plugging stuff in. So 50 times 10 to the minus sixth will equal then uh, the voltage of 3000 all divided by then we're going to add these two together. So remember, it's basically going to be RG plus RI. We know RG, they gave it to us 25 ohms. And now we're going to solve this for RI. So simply do a little swap a a little cross multiplication there, and then simply subtract your now 25 from both sides. So we can get rid of this and look at that beautiful and plug it in. So 3000 divided by then 50 times 10 to the minus sixth and then subtract 25 from it. And it's not really going to change that much. So, you know, uh, what I say, R1 or RI, I don't know why I call it RI. It doesn't really matter or something. It's going to be 5.9999, right? So considering rounding, it's going to be with sig fig six times 10 to the, what do we got there? One, two, three four, five, six, it looks like seven. All right, so that is then in ohms. Obviously that would represent 60 kilo, uh, excuse me, mega ohms, but you can take it from there. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and we will see you soon or talk to you soon or we won't see you, but we'll talk to you. Take care.